yeah, so dollar validator make request all okay so first things first name is required and should be minimum three and that should be all validator fails uh, how was it return redirect with error validator with input i'm not sure should work clear this thing and um why don't i remove this and name it and then redirect to this route let's see okay now i'm getting it which means um i need to show the error so why don't we return the errors from there and have the errors print here errors dot has name so what i'm saying is if i have an error then why don't you uh, add a span tag of error and in that print my errors dot first name let me just indent it a bit okay and uh, i have with inputs as well so why don't we do value equals old name okay so what is going to happen is uh, session store not set on request what uh, session store not set on request what does that mean let me remove the old from here okay now it says errors okay it doesn't recognize errors i think because um, yeah i think i need to add the middleware of web that will ensure that the kernel is loaded right yeah and i think now i should be also able to have value as old let me see yeah so we have this in place if i publish it says the field is required obviously it isn't read and if i do this it says the field must be at least three characters long so yeah i think what happened is i didn't have that middleware in place which just to you know explain you how things work um you know this kernel loads these things right encrypt cookie add queued cookie response start session now start share error from session now these things will not come if i don't have that middleware so the moment i added that my session the old and the errors started coming if i remove it i'll start getting those errors so yeah uh, this is done um, so if my validator fails then i have a problem otherwise what i will do is um, i can simply do survey hmm. what happened to my model why isn't coming in autocomplete Oh, I'm so sorry. Audit create. Mm. And I have my name. 
which will be request input name and is published right so I'll set that to false if request has <sighs> published true okay user underscore id i'll have this one as of now so what do we have the name the user id checklist so checklist also let's for now hard code it to one okay checklist underscore id so checklist underscore id so i'm creating the audit instance and why don't we then return redirect back okay so we have the validation if we have any error we return back otherwise we first check the published thing whether it is checked or not and then we do this okay um now what do we have um where is my env homestead is it okay i don't want homestead uh, let me when sql light okay touch database slash sqlite.database was that the file name mm, going to config sqlite where is sqlite database.sqlite okay it's the other way around database.sqlite okay and so here is my database i'll just open up i should have nothing in here and go into php storm php artisan migrate yeah and okay i have the tables but no data so let's just see how this works um my first survey and i do save okay survey model not found i didn't add that is it just get rid of this and uh, hmm so this is here I haven't added a namespace no i have so namespace model audit the error says class survey models audit not found so it's audit class name is also audit and this is fine as well uh, do i need to do a composer dump auto load Now let's try it once. Okay, we have a different and that's because I am using SQLite and I haven't reloaded the application. I changed my ENV, right? But yeah, so I think now it should work. Let me come here, refresh, and yes, we have the data entry, which is my first survey it's published let me see if the published thing works properly unpublished survey done and this is zero so yeah we are good to go with our first form inside our own package uh, running properly so yeah in the next lesson we are going to you know do the listing and pick it up from there Thanks for watching guys. If you like the videos, do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.